This is the Copain three drawer dresser from Ikea. For this job, you'll need a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, a mallet or hammer, the Ikea tool that comes with it, a drill to make it a little easier, a hex set with driver to make it faster. The first step is to put the four legs into position like this. So all these with five holes are up. And on this side, you have six down. So six on this side. Next, grab 12 of these screws and screw these into the 12 holes. Grab eight dowels and hammer them into the eight holes. Now you're going to want to turn the legs in towards each other. Now we're going to spread these out so we can get our two boards right in the middle. It's going to go like this. Also with the two in the middle, you're going to have a space here and here. This is the correct positioning for these. Next, attach the legs to the two panels like this. Next, grab 12 fasteners and put them in the 12 holes. Next, grab three of your right and three of your left door glides, three that says CR and three that says CL. They are the flat glides. Now the glides are going to be positioned like this. So the wheels are going towards the center. Now this is the CR, this is the CL. So we are gonna screw these into those 12 holes. Next, grab these 12 small screws and put them in the 12 holes. Next, grab 10 of these screws Next, grab this piece, your thin board, and four dowels, place them in the bottom. Now we're gonna take this board and make sure you have it like this in this position and place it in these holes. Next, grab these two pieces along with six dowels. Take the smaller piece and put one dowel on each side like this. The larger piece gets two dowels on one side. Attach the small piece like this. Now take your big piece, make sure your finish edge is on here. Your holes are towards the bottom, like this. Next, grab three fasteners and secure them into these three holes. Now, grab these two boards and put them in this position just like this. Grab eight dowels 
and put two in each side of the board. There we go. Now we're gonna take this panel and attach it like this. We're gonna grab the other panel and attach it like this. We're gonna get two fasteners and secure them. Next, we're gonna get the panel we worked on before and attach it up here. Next, grab five fasteners. We're gonna take two fasteners and secure the top. Get two more fasteners and fasten them in on this side, on the bottom. Don't forget to put in the fifth piece that goes in from the front. Next, grab four scratch guards and hammer them into each bottom leg. Now you can place the dresser on its feet. I'm gonna lay mine down for purposes of this video. Grab eight dowels and we're gonna place them right in here. Grab your top panel in this position here, grab four screws and screw them in here. Now we're gonna get our wall brackets, two washers and the two small screws. We're gonna be installing them here. If you have a baseboard in your home, you're gonna to wanna to secure it here. If you do not have baseboards in your home, you're gonna to wanna to secure it here. So we have baseboards in our home, so we're gonna be securing it here and here. Now we're gonna attach the top panel like this. Now grab four fasteners and screw them into these four holes. Now we're gonna get three long screws and screw them into the top of here. This is where your Ikea tool is going to come in handy. But since we have our own bit here, which is the same thing, It'll be a lot easier using this tool. Just don't over tighten them. Now, I'm not quite ready to screw this into the wall, but if you were, this would be the next step. It'll keep the dresser from tipping over. It's just a safety precaution. But next, we're gonna work on the drawers. Lay your panel down like this. Grab four of these, and we're gonna screw them into these four holes. Now, grab two of your side pieces for your drawers. Make sure one of them has the warning label on it. This is gonna be for the top drawer. When you put this on, you want the holes to be right here where the line is on here. So towards the back, Let's put those on. It goes like this. Grab four fasteners.
grab the back piece and put it in like this. Grab the back, put it in like this. Grab four plastic pins and put them in like this. Grab four fasteners and fasten them into these four holes. Now we're going to put our knobs on. Grab two knobs and two screws and attach it like this. Next, let's turn the drawer over. Get two door slides, DL and DR, along with four of these small screws. We're gonna get our DL and put it on the left side of the drawer. We're gonna take our two screws Repeat the same process on the other side. Now let's get our middle support bracket and our two really small screws. First, we're gonna screw this screw into this hole, but we're gonna make sure we don't screw it in all the way. Then we're gonna attach our bracket to the one screw like this. Then get our other screw and screw this one in right here. Now, if you take your completed drawer, this one with the safety label goes on the very top. You can slide it in like this. The only thing that's left to do now is to repeat the process two more times for the other drawers. Now that our drawers are done, the other two drawers can go in any order. And there you have it. This is the Copang three drawer dresser from Ikea.